Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Mother Nature has her way of constantly surprising us. There are billions of animal species and plant species as well in the world, and only a fraction of them have been discovered. Only a fraction of that fraction have been studied and understood so far. There are some undiscovered amazing creatures that would absolutely blow your mind. And in this video, we're showing you 10 unusual animals that are hard to believe are real. Number 10. Rhinopithecus The Rhinopithecus. If you think these might have something to do with rhinos, you're definitely not correct. While this animal's name is misleading, the Rhinopithecus is actually a snub-nosed monkey that is part of what people refer to as a group called Old World Monkeys. These monkeys are called snub-nosed monkeys, not because they're snobs, in case you were thinking that too, but because their noses look like short stubs on their faces, with their nostrils arranged forward. An odd look, isn't it? These monkeys are generally brown, reddish, and sometimes oranges, with the females having much darker tones than the males. The younger monkeys are known to have an unbelievably light color, almost white sometimes, but grow into their adult shades sooner or later. These snub-nosed monkeys spend nearly all their days, and eventually nearly all their lives, in the trees, as would be expected of monkeys. A fascinating species indeed. Number 9. Mangalitsa Next up, we have an animal that will most likely have you cooing and awing at its unbelievable cuteness. Is it a sheep? Is it a pig? What is it? First of all, let's get this out of the way. The Mangalitsa is actually a pig, not a sheep. You might say, well, how is that possible? And I wouldn't blame you. These pigs are so woolly that you might be tempted to call it a sheep. But they wouldn't mind. These cuties are shy and friendly. Mangalitsas were developed a long time ago in Hungary, around as early as the 1800s, by farmers who crossed hardy pigs with hardy pigs. What do you get when you cross hardy pigs? Well, very hardy pigs, of course. In case you don't know what hardy pigs are, Hardy pigs are basically just pig breeds that are very robust and can endure harsh conditions like winter, hence their woolly appearance. But alas, with all human efforts to crossbreed, there is often a downside. Many of these pigs are born blind. If you're the meat-eating kind, you'll be pleased to know that the Mangalitsas produce some of the best pork you can find anywhere. What more would you expect from a pig in sheep's clothing? Number 8. Emperor Tamarin Next up is royalty, or at least that's what their name says. The Emperor Tamarins are surprisingly also monkeys, and like our friends in number 10, the Rhinopithecus, Emperor Tamarins are part of a group of old world monkeys called Tamarins. They're called emperors because they were named after the German Emperor Wilhelm II, the last German Emperor and the King of Prussia. Why? Both Emperor Wilhelm II and these monkeys share a distinctive and similar style of beard. Emperor Tamarins are predominantly gray in color and are also caught sporting a fabulous long white beard which extends on both sides and past their shoulders. Dumbledore would be proud. Number 7. Fluffy Cow After we're done taking a look at these spectacular cows, you'll definitely be begging for their hair care routine. The first time you set your eyes on a fluffy cow, your first thoughts might be along the lines of, can I hug it? And quite frankly, we wouldn't blame you. Fluffy cows are majestic and stunning cows that have been genetically engineered to look as good as they do. Along with genetics in play, these cows mostly found in Iowa and the United States are given premium care. Their owners, the farmers, make sure to wash, comb, and blow dry the cow's hair twice every day. They also get to go to the cow salon where their caretakers use hairsprays, oils, and clippers to cut, style, and fluff to their heart's content. And thus, the fluffy cow is fully created. The hairspray holds the fluffy fur in place where the oils, which are obviously natural and not harmful to them, are used to keep their hairs looking shiny and healthy. Number 6. Patagonian Mara Enough of the cows and monkeys, we're headed to the rodent world. The Patagonian Mara is an odd little thing if you ask me. The little guy looks like what would happen if you crossed a hare with a kangaroo and poof, they gave you this. The Patagonian Mara is the fourth largest rodent in the world and they have several hair-like features like their ears and the shape of their body. Just like the hair, the Panagonian Mara have long, powerful hind legs, which, if given the cause, can allow them to rapidly escape from predators or anything that startles them with a maximum speed of 45 kilometers per hour. 
Their front legs are sharper and designed with claws to aid them in burrowing and digging holes in the earth. The Mars are monogamous, which means they mate for life and don't have any other partners. It's rather sad that these hair-like rodents are dwindling in number by the year. They're rapidly declining as a result of the loss of habitat, hunting, and natural competition with other herbivores. Let's hope these guys are still around in a few years to come. Number 5. Markhor Goat The Markhor Goat is no regular goat. If you come across this odd-looking creature that looks like it's trying to catch a signal or communicate with an extraterrestrial alien in the great beyond with its long, twisty horns, then you're probably looking at a Markhor Goat. These goats are the largest in the wild goat species. These goats themselves can grow as long as six feet if you're measuring head to rump, and sometimes in peculiar situations, even longer. They have broad hooves, and their spiraling hooves are said to grow as long as five feet in adult males. This is because the males need the strongest and longest horns they can get, as they tend to do a lot of fighting and headbutting with other males during the mating season. Typical goat style. For females, their horns are not as long and measure about 10 inches, since they aren't going to be headbutting as often. Here's a fun fact about these odd goats. The word markhor is Persian for snake killer, which refers to the goat's broad hooves and how they use their hooves to easily kill snakes by simply stepping on them with their wide hooves. Number 4. Raccoon Dog Ah yes, Mother Nature strikes again with this one. The raccoon dog might get you a little confused. It does look very much like a raccoon, but it turns out that it is anything but. These raccoon dogs are not in any way related to the North American raccoons. Even though they share such a striking resemblance, they're more biologically related to foxes and wolves, but honestly, their dog characteristics are hardly prevalent. These raccoon dogs are known to be invasive, vicious, and are often found rummaging through backyards for trash and whatnot, letting out angry hisses when threatened. Raccoon dogs are wild animals. They're also monogamous, like the Patagonian Maras, which means that they have one partner for life and have offspring with only one mate. They're also the only members of the dog family that go into hibernation in the winter, often in pairs. Number 3. Blue-Footed Booby At number 3, we have what we call a blue-footed booby. Alright, alright, enough of the snickering. The blue-footed booby is an interesting animal, and not just for its name. The bird is named so because of their hard-to-miss, fabulous blue feet. The males actually take pride in this particular feature, especially when it's time to mate. It's said that these males strut around during mating season with their feet flashing in front of females to entice them. The bluer the feet, the more attractive they look. Paint your feet blue and do a gallant strut in front of your crush. These birds might be onto something. The blue-footed boobies are found off the western coasts of South and Central America. They're particularly concentrated in the Galapagos Islands and are known to look… stupid. Yeah, that's right. These birds are characterized by their unmissable, stupid look or clumsy behavior. Looks like we found Disney's template for every stupid bird in their movies. Now it's time for today's best pick. This next amazing animal on our list was from a photo sent in by a subscriber. If you find a picture that you would like us to feature, make sure to send it over. You just might be lucky enough to get in on our video. Number 2. Panda Crocodile Have you ever wondered what would happen if someone made a crossbreed between a panda and a crocodile? I mean, I haven't, but… Well, thankfully, no one has tried this yet as far as we know. But this animal might be the closest we'll ever get. With what you can see in this picture, this animal appears to be some kind of crocodile that looks like a panda with the black and white look going on. But we're here to make things much clearer, even though the truth is less exciting. This animal is actually just a regular crocodile that was painted with black and white to make it look like this. Why would anyone do this, you ask? We'll tell you in a bit. The zoo brought in a few pandas, and suddenly, they were the only animals that zoo visitors wanted to see. The zookeepers wondered how could they get their visitors to remember their old friends, the crocodiles, and came up with this brilliant idea. They painted the crocodiles black and white like the pandas and succeeded in grabbing people's attention. A job well done. So, does this animal actually exist? Technically, it does. It's just a crocodile with a little makeup on. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 1. Venezuelan Poodle Moth 
The Venezuelan poodle moth has only recently been discovered. It was first seen in Venezuela in 2009, and its unique appearance made people wonder at its stunning appearance. Mammals, as you may know, need fur on their bodies to protect them from the harsh conditions like cold weather. However, insects are cold-blooded and do not need that protection mechanism. So what is this insect doing with so much fur on it? We don't know. It's not been around long enough to study, so until we know, make sure to not go around trying to cuddle this little insect. And we've come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for a sure decade of amazing luck. See you guys.